Okay, welcome to the video. Today we're going to play around with the CREF command in Mid Journey. So, this is a new way that you can get consistent characters. And I went ahead and tried a prompt out here and I made some aging rock stars. And we're going to pick one of these to play with. Okay, so uh, the prompt I was using, let's just pick one here. The prompt I was using was aging rock star, caricature, chibi cartoonish characters, caricature style portrait, cartoonish face, exaggerated features, detailed facial features, and humorous. And I did style uh, stylization commands using power permutations from zero all the way to a thousand, going up a hundred at a time. And this was the six in the 600 row, okay? So I'm just choosing this one. And so what we'd really like to do is we want to make a bunch of aging rock stars that all look the same. And so first off, let's get the command in. And I'm just gonna use the same one. And what I'm gonna say is we're gonna say, we're gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna say wearing a cowboy hat, right? Now we wanna get the C ref going, right? So what we do is we need the URL for this image. So what we do is you say, copy image address. And then we put the CREF in. So that's dash dash C R E F. And then all I do is I type in the URL and then it puts the image down in. Okay. Now we also want to give it some character weight. Now, Character weight doesn't mean it's the weight of the character in pounds or grams or anything. What it means is how much does should Mid Journey pay attention to the image for the next round of images, right? And so how that works is dash dash C W. And then because we're playing around here, we want to give it some power permutations and we want to give a bunch of different examples just so you can see. So we're going to use zero. We're going to say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Uh, and then we'll just go up by uh, uh, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. So this is going to give us a whole bunch of stuff to work with. And out of this mix, I bet you we get a whole bunch of these aging rock stars with cowboys hats that look similar, okay? So the reason we're doing the power of permutation so we can really generate a lot of images quickly. So all I do is hit go and whoop, go back so we can see. And we can see we got a whole bunch of stuff going. And then, uh, of course, I'm on Mid Journey Alpha. This is a new website. If you're still on Discord, this is what this looks like. And then you can see it, and it ranks them in the row. So this is zero, this is 10, this is 20, 30, all the way up, right? And as you can see, the, it's the same guy in a bunch of different poses. And so this is what we started with right here. And, um, you know, these all look, it's the same guy over and over and over again, with just different uh, looks, different aesthetics, but it looks really super similar to this uh, aging weirdo <laughs> rock star, right? So anyway, that's how it works. What do you think? Which one of these is your favorite? Um, you know, I don't know, I like that one a lot. Um, just scrolling through here quickly. My favorite, I think, has got to be um, this one. I like that a lot. And uh, so anyway, using the CREF command and using a character weight can allow you to dial in exactly the characters that you want. Some of these are going to be perfect. Some of these won't. That's just the great thing about Mid Journey. That's why I use the power permutations just so I can make a lot of images at one time. And I save myself tons of time. I can pick a couple of these to use for a project and I'm good to go. So anyway, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to the Mid Journey Experience newsletter. We'll check you next time. See you.